Hi everyone, it's Nikki aka Demo and today is June 16th, 2014 and I'm, I do apologize, I look a mess. This is basically what a mom looks like <laughs> who's only been home for a little bit. So as you guys can see in my last video I uploaded was Bubby moving in my stomach and as you guys can see he's out. I'm so excited. Um, so I did have a baby. I had a little boy. I don't know if you guys can see him. Um, named Brandon James Wilson Jr. Yay! The love of my life. So he's official. Well, he yesterday he officially made a month. Um, so I've had him for quite a bit. Um, I know, like in the beginning of my videos, I did tell you all that I did have some health issues. So he was actually born a month and a half. Well, not a month and a half, but five weeks early. He was born at 35 weeks uh, exact on the day of being 35 weeks. Um, due to some health issues, I had intrauterine growth restriction, uh, which basically means he stopped growing, he stopped gaining weight, and just my body could no longer support him. And um, the best thing for him was to be delivered early or else he could have died. So that's what happened and I don't regret it you know he's wonderful although he was born early he functions like a full-term baby so he was he's really not five weeks behind as some babies tend to be or some children tend to be you know some doctors have, some they, doctors have to tell you that sometimes so he's doing good um, I've missed vlogging so much I know I said I was gonna vlog during my pregnancy but that just did not quite happen due to health issues or being tired all the time and um, I had moved to Nebraska and I'm back in Chicago now um, due to certain reasons <laughs> I don't really want to discuss but I, I have moved back to Chicago uh, I lived in Nebraska for like six months I moved to Nebraska this the day before New Year's Eve actually December 30th I moved to Nebraska. I left to come down to Nebraska and officially made it in Nebraska December 31st. So on New Year's. Um, on New Year's Eve. Which was good. I mean things were good for a while down there and just kind of missed home and got tired of a few things and decided to move back. So I've been back um, I've been back almost two weeks now. So I've, I've been back home uh, a week yesterday, the same day he made a month. So I'm kind of happy about that, and kind of it's a bittersweet. It was a bittersweet move, I can say. So far as weight loss, I've gained about 15 pounds during my pregnancy. Well, I've gained I gained over 15 pounds during my pregnancy. I've lost about half of that, so I'm back down to 183. I think my lowest I was 173. I've only lost me about five or six pounds, and then I put on a pound since um I've lost I lost more weight than that. I take that back. I was after I had the baby, I was one eighty one, and I've gained weight since I've had the baby. <laughs> I've only gained about two and a half pounds, which I'm not I'm not upset about because of course I didn't gain the weight overnight, but since I am breastfeeding and pumping, you tend to want to eat all the damn time. And of course, it's not healthy stuff I'm eating, and uh, I'm just eating, eating, eating constantly, and that's what sucks about breastfeeding. Is and I'm not even breastfeeding full time, which is crazy. Uh, I've got to lose this weight, so I'm so excited about losing weight. Thursday, this coming Thursday, I don't know what day it is. Um. I will be going to a Weight Watchers meeting and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Usually I don't do the Weight Watchers meetings. When I did Weight Watchers before, I did Weight Watchers online, which was wonderful and it worked because I lost 20 pounds, but I feel like this time I want to go to a meeting. I'm actually going with my sister. Um, just for support and to talk to moms or just talk to women, period, in general who are in the same position as I am or who've had children and are trying to lose weight or have lost weight or are losing weight after giving birth um, and the weight losing weight after you have a baby is just not easy it's easier to lose weight before you have a baby sometimes I take that back sometimes it's not always true but it's just kinda hard because I really don't have uh, 
too much to do and he can't really go out like that. I'm one of those paranoid moms who's always scared about her kid getting sick. I don't know. Who's always scared. I don't know. I was always scared the like, baby's going to get sick. <laughs> and I kind of do have to worry about that because he is a preemie. Although he's functioning um, like a normal child developmentally. But bodily wise developmentally he's still lacking. Um, so I have to be very careful um, with him going out. Uh, especially with him being born early because the first two weeks of his life he was actually in the NICU and then he was out for a few days and then we went back to the hospital for a few more days because he had a partial collapsed lung, partially collapsed lung, which scared the hell out of mommy because you turned blue. He turned blue on me. So of course I, I rushed him to the hospital and we find out he's had that and acid reflex. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful being a mom? <laughs> at least I can say I'm not that para paranoid mom for no reason at all. So, um, just a lot going on. But as far as being a mother, I love being a mom. Although I hate that I don't get to sleep like I used to. Uh, anymore. Mm. I know it's almost time to eat. Uh, like I used to. I gotta hurry up because he's getting hungry. But um, at the same time, at the same token, I love it and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, I would do my labor all over again. I did not have a bad labor. I can agree with that. My labor was not that bad and it was actually really fast. Um, I was in labor for 12 hours and it only took me 20 minutes to push him out, <laughs> which is crazy. And then during my labor, I went from 5 to 10 like that, literally like that. Um, I was five and a half centimeters and then 15 minutes later, it was time to push literally. It was literally time to push because his head was out and he was there. <laughs> so, um, it wasn't bad. He's my labor of love, which I love so much. I love my baby. I'm sorry. I'm one of those doting moms. Um, do I want my children in the future? Maybe. Maybe not. I would one more I'll have to say but at the same token I have to be very conscious about my health and I would have to see a specialist again as far as um getting pregnant well not need I wouldn't need a specialist but I would have to see a, a high risk doctor who specializes in um fetal and maternal medicine so uh, I would do it though I would have another baby I just would, you know, I, there's uh, a high chance of me experiencing the same things as I did with him. That's the only thing I just, I don't like as far as getting pregnant and having children. So it's not as easy as uh, for some people that have children and, you know, some for some people it's, it's like drinking water and then, you know, others it's, it's, it's not. So, yeah. Which I and I don't take having a baby for granted at all because there are plenty of parents who or plenty of people that would love to have children and would make great parents and don't have children and then there are plenty of people that have a ton of children or have children that should not be having children or just should not be around children period so um that i uh i I don't take this for granted this being able to have a child for granted at all so Although it's it's really not as easy for me. So, uh, I, but I'm so excited about losing weight. I will let you all know what goes on Thursday. I'm just, I'm excited. I can't wait till Thursday. I keep telling myself I'm going to start today. I'm going to start today. I'm going to start today. But really, I'm not going to start till Thursday. I'm not going to start um, my lifestyle change officially till Thursday. So, I'm going to enjoy the things I want to until Thursday, except for coffee, which I have to cut. I really just, it's so hard to cut coffee out of my diet because I get up so early in the morning and I have to have a cup of coffee sometimes with him because I'm so tired because we like to get up so early in the morning or get up every three hours and sometimes I need a cup of coffee to function. So, hey, Putin. Um, that I have to do. And soda. I I am just I'm shocked I'm back to drinking soda. And it's regular soda. And when I was pregnant with him, 
I really used to crave Coca-Cola. I used to crave Coke and Pepsi all the time when I was pregnant. Literally. Couldn't stand chocolate, but I would crave Coke and Pepsi. Which is crazy. And, uh, my spit bubble. But now that I'm not pregnant, of course, I'll drink Pepsi, but I really don't crave it like that. Right now, it's so much as 7-Up and Orange Soda or, or juice. It's just, it's hard. And, I, and on top of that, I really need to go grocery shopping. And I'm trying to wait till Thursday. <laughs> I'm trying to wait till Thursday because I really want, I am just obsessed with knowing how many points I'm going to get and just really how much weight I, uh, how much weight I've gained or how much I weigh. I need to weigh myself in the morning actually to see. I know you're hungry. Um, but in the meantime, oh, I'm just like <sighs> excited. I really am excited to be back on this weight loss <laughs> journey. As you guys can see, I have on like a ton of baggy clothes. My body's just like not the way it used to be. It just, I used to be just pretty and nice and a good size. And I only had like 10 more pounds to lift. And I got pregnant. <laughs> but it was worth it. But you'll be seeing more videos with Brandon. A.K.A. Bubby. That's my Bubby. And my dog is Bubba. I know it's so weird. I, my dog and my baby have similar names because my dog and my baby are both my children. So, this is Bubby and my dog's Bubba. I'm excited. So, um, I have been watching some videos. I've been trying to keep up as much as possible, but it's been kind of difficult because I had started work like mid-pregnancy in Nebraska. And I used to work. I, I worked so freaking much and for the wrong facility. So I worked a lot, and then I had like a lot of health issues going on, so I was in uh, the hospital, and then some days I was just tired. So I have been trying to keep up with some some of you all's <sighs> videos, and it's just been kind of hard because people, uh, I know for the month of April, like there were so many videos uploaded almost every single day, and I really did not get a chance to watch all of them, but com but um, from what I've been seeing, everybody's doing really well on their weight loss journeys and have been losing weight I'm just I'm so proud of everybody I know losing weight is just it's really hard it it is so hard it's easy to put the weight on and but it's hard it's t it takes twice as much work to lose the weight so um which is ridiculous I wish we could lose the weight as fast as we put it on but that just doesn't happen but and, you know, we all have to remember that we didn't gain it overnight, so we're not going to lose it overnight. We have to be positive and stay positive. Um, I do apologize that this video is so freaking long. It's almost 13 minutes. Almost 15 minutes. So, um, in the meantime, comment, subscribe, shoot me a message. Um, let me know what programs you all on all are on. I know some people are using Noom. Some people are using this other program called, I think it's called like Everyday Living or some, something like that. And then some people are using uh, My Fitness Pal, which I, I've tried, and they're really good. But it's just so hard for me to just count calories. I just cannot. I just I can't count calories. I do points. Never could. But let me know what um, programs you all are using to help lose the weight. Or um, if anybody's like using the Shanties. I remember I made a video about Shanties Insanity. Uh, I don't plan on using it again this time, but I'm thinking about Shanti's T25. So if anybody's like doing that uh, workout, those workout videos, let me know how they are or if they work or because um, I don't want to spend the money and then like I don't do it uh, because the insanity I literally hurt myself so bad I had to go to the hospital um, and it it was just ridiculous. It it literally was crazy. I don't see how anybody could do though you all have to have lost your damn minds and then all the pressure and strain you put on your joints crazy but he has so many different damn videos or so many different exercise routines it's ridiculous so if you guys have tried it let me know um i'll be uploading a video thursday i'm sorry this video is so long that it's on my phone my freaking camera on my computer is not actually right but in the meantime comment subscribe i'm so excited to be back there'll be more vlogs um i'll let you guys you know weekly ball oh i'm sorry weekly vlogs i scared my baby um about what's going on in our lives and <sighs> um what we're 
basically doing. So, <laughs> bye everybody. I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry.